What is raita? What is raita? What is raita? What is raita? Raita is a yogurt-based condiment. No, it's not the same as tzatziki. And yes, it's absolutely delicious. Now, raita is used for tons of different applications, but as I mentioned, it's primarily kind of a side, a dressing, a condiment that goes along with main dishes. Raita is a story of balance. If something is extremely spicy, raita can help bring balance in terms of flavor by calming that spice. If something is piping hot, raita is cool. It brings balance in terms of temperature. Now, given raita's creaminess, it pairs great with crispy, crunchy items, uh, and it brings balance in terms of texture as well. There are infinite interpretations of how you might go about making raita. I'll give you some of the main points that I take into consideration and I think that are important, at least in my opinion. First, you're gonna start with what kind of yogurt you wanna to select to make the raita with. In most instances, you're gonna be using, at least I suggest that you use unstrained whole milk yogurt, like 95% of the time, 99% of the time, a lot of the time. There are instances, however, where you might want something a little bit thicker that has a little more structural integrity, structural integrity, a little bit more structural integrity. Perhaps you're gonna slather it on a sandwich and you want it to hold and layer properly or better than a unstrained yogurt would. In that case, I would suggest using a strained or Greek yogurt. Apart from the type of yogurt, I think there are four other main things to take into account. One of which is gonna be crunch. So there's gonna be crunchy items in the form of different vegetables that are in your raita. So one is crunch, two is going to be the spices that you put into your raita, okay? Three is gonna be your, um, the herbs that you're adding to the raita, and four is gonna be kind of optional, um, but four is acid, or in most cases, lemon that you're gonna be adding to the raita. So given those considerations, let's not act like it's difficult to make raita. You mix the shit together in a ratio that makes you happy, and you have yourself a wonderful accompaniment to many, many South Asian dishes. So a while back, I made some butter chicken sandwiches, and for it, I wanted to make a raita spread. So I used strained yogurt, and I made that raita with a couple friends of mine, Jeff and Ram. I figured it'd be great to capture this on video, a culinary tool perhaps, that could help somebody else at some point. In my attempts to edit, I quickly realized that is absolutely not the case. It's just three idiots in the kitchen. I wasn't able to salvage much out of it besides ridiculousness. You've been forewarned. If you want to continue watching, do so at your own risk. Holla at your boy. Please don't ever post this. Ready? Uh, so, it's, so it's been recording. Ron, if you have to Yeah, well, I told you guys that. No, I'm not dressed yet. Oh, what do you think? Dress the shit. Dress. It's not like a thing. It's yeah. your fucking right there. Have you had raita before? Do you know what raita is? It's like an Indian yogurt. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Can you tell me? Is it like turmeric shit? I would love to tell you what goes in raita. That is a parsley. Close. <laughs> Close. <laughs> that is a parsley. It, what? That is coriander. Yes. Coriander. Very good. Do you believe that shit? <laughs> yes, people believe that shit. What's your favorite thing about cucumbers? The shape, mainly. Okay. Sea salt. Love it. So yummy. Kosher sea salt. So salty. <laughs> you know what I said is a lemon. You call it nibu. And then I'm gonna show you a trick with cucumber. Are you gonna go swallow it? Yes. Go we'll swallow it. He's gonna make it disappear. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, sound like magic. Why is it gonna be white? No! Okay. I'll do it so that everyone at home can see. Now this is how we do it back in Mumbai. Look right out there. Yeah, you're right. It's like a little boat. Boom. And then you take this and you put a little chak masala on it. And you eat it. Cucumber martini. Cucumber syrup. Do it. It's a little yummy. Mmm. Shall we do lady and the cucumber channel? Cheers. Wow, I feel like I can cook. I can do this. I can do this. Oops, I'm breaking things. Who be irony? Who be calling me? I gotta call my mother. You want my student start at this point? Start at the phone line. Fat chaser. Fat chaser. It's a scrub Honestly, it's not the greatest thing. Right. Have you checked this kundi? I'm a pro at that. What? Might get a little cake down there. Really? Oh my god. Adventure didn't work. Got it. What? How else do you, do you have Let's a spoon? Look. Oh, this is a much better job. Sal. <laughs> Fuck it. Splattered it everywhere. Mmm. Eat it. You're right. <laughs> Put your finger in there. Finger in there. Mm, Alright, well, I like nice. I like as much cucumber as you can possibly fit. So it needs to be, it's like more of a spread vibe. 
I'll, I want to do that too. All right, we're gonna fuck this squash over. We're gonna take a little bit. And just jerk it off for a little while. It's been sitting in water for the past day for a couple reasons. One of the reasons is so that it stays fresh. It's really cold. The another reason is is that there's often dirt on it, so you want to wipe out any sort of particulates that get in the cilantro. And then that was, by the way, that was Sal's chemical engineering side coming me speaking specifically about particulates because that's very you could just say yeah, it's very specific to the chemical chemicals. Food science. So we're gonna start from this end. That's like that game that you play, like where you go. Yeah, you're trying not to do it. I love this sort of. That's pretty good. I've been feeling kind of cooped up, cooped up. I'm about to get it right now. My bad, my bad. Wonderful. French diamond. Oh, wow. So you roll it into a little stack. Smoke it. Garlic, for example. Tastes different if you smother it versus slice it versus if you pull. There's something called Allison. I always wonder whenever I hear about Alice, how long is the relationship? I haven't had it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Dalor Van Charles. All right, now we're done. How um, much salt? Don't do that. What you got, buddy? What you got? Oh yeah, teamwork. Okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good thing. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's... I feel like we're not making enough icon. Why is he left out? Adrian, can you come mix this bowl of rice up for me, please? Good. Yogurt, coriander, mint. Uh... So what we're trying to achieve here is white and green. If you stay white and green, you're kind of on your right pace. Roll it first. But this is a lemon. It's the beauty of cooking. It's just sort of. Isn't that pretty vapor right now? <laughs> We've talked about this. Yeah, it's more of a spread. It's as, more of a spread as, as for a sandwich, you know? And so you want to have more structural integrity. It's run it's compound, then it's ready. You put it on the bread and then you smash. Not right up for me. I am right up! <laughs> the, the yogurt is great. And ask yourself, what is it? What, what do you want to add? You want to add mint, you want to add cilantro, you want to add cucumber, you want to add salt, you want to add pepper, you want to add cumin. I'm not hating it right now. It's a growing endorsement. I like it. No, so right 